At this point in our collective history, we should be able to agree our own government and armed forces has experimented with different types of chemicals on its own citizens for decades, if not the last century. They've, of course, repeatedly denied such accusations, so officially it would not be archived through history as an attack on innocent men, women, and children. But when we also understand governments around the world spend most of their resources on military experimentation and arms, all of this should come as no surprise. Of course, they're going to officially deny anything like that, and unfortunately, most of us will believe it. Now, some of us do know this alternative truth, but what about our own backyard? What about our own town or city? Many of us are collectively ignorant about the inner operations of those same cities and towns. We understand that over time our property taxes go up, but our services have dwindled, and at the same time governments have expanded incrementally. But what exactly are they up to? Do you know? Have you attended the last public meeting at your town hall or Zoom meeting? Because the chances are your government has been busy setting up things to further serve itself. They may tell you this expansion will be a good thing. It'll create jobs and solve some current problems. And while that may be true short term, you can bet in the long run that none of it will directly benefit the public at large and may in fact cost much more. I am writing to you today to express my strong opposition to having a lab facility at Suffolk Downs that has no limits. The constituency of this city and surrounding communities were not made aware of exactly what this lab would be used for. The term, life science building, is just a pretty word for biolab. There was no transparency in the mayor's explanation to the public or even to the city officials. Everyone is blindsided by this and his description of what this building will actually be. These particular labs use many animals. I am completely against animal cruelty, which is exactly what will occur within the lab. Please don't gaslight us by saying, don't you want a cure for cancer? There are plenty of labs testing cancer drugs on animals, many of them here in Massachusetts. No matter what anyone says, it's not just mice. They're actually testing on monkeys now at UMass Amherst. They just received a $4 million contract for it last fall. Even Dr. Fauci was running horrific experiments on beagles. None of this is ethical. Another extremely important fact is that labs also work with lethal pathogens that can and do kill humans. A level one lab can be upgraded to a level three lab without any consent from the neighborhoods around it. This is exactly what happened at Boston University Lab and now they have Ebola, anthrax, and medicine-resistant TB, to name a few. Nothing is perfect, and human error does occur. Look at Wuhan. Neighborhood protests did nothing to stop it. If you don't believe us, then look up Level 3 Labs in Massachusetts. It is extremely reckless and irresponsible to give free reign to the developer to rent to whomever he might want. September 2021, the mayor of Revere, Massachusetts made a deal for her $280 million biolab with undisclosed private investors and an unnamed branch of government. He was not transparent in his explanation to the city councilors after the fact, and they have been kept in the dark regarding the internal functions of this building. The developer has explained that there can be no limits on animal experimentation because it is subsidized by the government. There has been no clarity as to whether the city of Revere can limit the advancement of the use of deadly pathogens or chemicals in this lab building. With no limits, all of the population around Revere can be at risk. Heinous and torturous animal experimentation can be conducted if the government deems it necessary. This is what 
PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, sent us as far as what is allowed if it's deemed necessary for the experiment. Legally, tests include burning, poisoning, starving, forced smoking, mutilating, blinding, electrocuting, drowning, and dissecting without painkillers. These terribly cruel acts can be performed on cats, dogs, pigs, horses, goats, mice, and so on. So, if we believe we are ever being told the truth for anything other than possibly the weather forecast, which we know is wrong at least 50% of the time, then we are simply lying to ourselves and they are helping us along. There's also the subject of accountability. So, in the event any government was caught within a lie or suspicious activity, we also know they'll never subject themselves to the same scrutiny you or I would be held to. Government's only goal is self-preservation at all costs, and that unfortunately includes the lives of its own citizenry. There's an old saying, nobody watches the farm like the farmer. For too long, we've allowed governments and their promotional arm of all media to convince us they're in place for our protection and well-being. The fact is, history repeatedly tells us this is not so. We need to begin reversing this ill-formed trend and re-establishing a much smaller, legitimately transparent form of public service. Biolabs, by their very nature, do not fall into the category of absolute need or benefit to the surrounding community. As a matter of fact, they'd more likely stand out as the proverbial bomb waiting to go off. Again, history would bear this out on many accounts. Please stay tuned and do a little research. It just may save your life. We need to watch out for one another. <laughs>